So take care out there and see you again soon. And we're out. Okay, uh, while the camera's all set up, let's do an unboxing uh, of this little parcel that's come from India. So come on over. G'day, welcome to Butlosophy. Uh, I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I'm filming on, the Wajit people. If you haven't met me, my name is Tech. And uh, what I'm going to do today is open up this box that arrived uh, from India for me. Uh, it's a brand called Craft and Glory that's really been flooding the internet. So let's open this box and see what's going on. Right, so it's um, really nicely wrapped in plastic. So let's move that out of the way first. I've never uh, received anything from this brand before, so um, I'm not really sure what their packaging is like. But let's open this out. And straight into their shoe box. Upside down. Of course it's upside down. Is it upside down? Oops, no it's not. That is a packing box. So okay, not straight into the shoe box. Gosh, this is nicely packed. It reminds me of sort of Indonesian bootmakers who sort of um, come through with armor-plated packaging. Right. Inside is the actual shoe box. Craft and glory. Now, let me just remove this from the packing box. You can tell this is a real unboxing, can't you? I can't bloody get it out. Oops, okay, didn't need that anyway. So the first thing that strikes me, and I think uh, many other reviewers have said this, uh, that's a fairly intricate design for a shoebox. Nice pictures on the sides as well as on top. Nothing at the bottom, of course. Uh, my understanding is this is actually represents some of uh, what's happening in their factory. Uh, the head craftsman uh, making boots and so on. Uh, the making of boots. Uh, I don't believe there are cowboys in India, so I think that's an imagining. Making of boots. Let's open this up. Right, let me get rid of this before I stab myself. So, we have two pairs of laces, uh, round brown cotton and this sort of workwear uh, yellow brown nylon -y lace, interesting. We have some goodies, oh yes, I believe I asked for um, Apple watch straps, so, because they also do other leather goods. Here you go. That's quite nice, I think. All right, we'll see if they fit my wife's Apple Watch. Pretty uh, packaging that those come in. Waxed paper with some really um, thought through printing. Oh, hello. We've got a boot bag. No, we don't. We have a boot tote. So they have heirloom quality goods, craft and glory, established 2017. Craft and glory uh, dot in. Now that's different and interesting as a tote bag. Um, you know, I, I love getting boot bags, but I almost never use them unless I'm traveling with two pairs of boots. So having a tote bag that I can go to the supermarket in, cool. Uh, wax paper, let's take this first one out. Oh, let's take them both out, shall we? Let me remove the box. Kathunk, right. So I bought the hiker boots. Um, I thought, I, I looked at their website uh, and I had the opportunity to get a pair of boots for review. Um, and so these, you know, um, bit of truth-telling. These were given to me uh, to review 
but I've never seen them before and uh, I have no agreements about what I'm going to say. Uh, so I had the opportunity to get a pair of boots to review and I looked at their boots and they had boots that were reasonably similar to um, like Iron Rangers and service boots and Chelsea boots, uh, which were all sort of the same. I don't mean that they copy, I don't even think that they're homage. If you look at um, a brand like Luos Jet, if you look at their, some of their boots, I mean it is a it is a straightforward copy of an Iron Ranger, it's a straightforward copy of a, an old and indie. And I believe in homages because I don't think there's that much difference in, in service boots. Like you'd have to be extremely innovative to come up with a service boot. Um, but at any rate, the story is that having had the opportunity, I decided to get a boot that's totally different. I have a pair of Timberland hiking boots which are starting to fall apart. So I thought, oh, that's fun. I'll, I'll get a pair of uh, hiking boots. So let's go through this. This is, my understanding, is uh, buffalo leather. That's not American buffalo, bison buffalo. This is more likely, well, is actually, the Asian buffalo found throughout uh, Asia, Southeast Asia, uh, and, and Southern Asia, uh, in, in Indonesia and places like that. Uh, it's actually a feral animal. North Australia has quite a lot of them that they're trying to get rid of because they plough up, um, like feral pigs, they plough up uh, soil into mud and, and, and get rid of all the, the um, uh, good uh, earth that's in, that's in the, in the farm, farming land. So this is water buffalo. It feels pretty sturdy, although it's quite a light boot. This is Goodyear welted. Uh, and you can see on their channel videos of them Goodyear welting boots. It's good you welted through a commando lugged sole, no brand, so I guess it's proprietary. Uh, I, I quite like the, the um, hardness of this. It's a sort of blend between being soft enough to be, I think, going to be quite shock absorbing versus durability. The stitching, as you can see, I believe is hand stitched. So when I say good you welted, I think these might actually be hand welted in the sense that number one, uh, instead of sewing a gemming, a cotton gemming onto the in, uh, insole and then using that cotton gemming uh, to sew into the, the inside stitch on the Goodyear welt, I do believe that they carve um, a, a channel through the leather insole and use that flap to do that stitch and then they hand stitch this. Now the reason I think it might be hand stitched is that the stitch um, density is not really small um, and I can see a human being sort of whacking the, the um, stitching through. Also the stitching here is not perfectly consistent so I'm seeing that as being handmade. However, it looks fine and durable. I don't have a problem with that. Um, what looks like leather stacked uh, heel topped by that commando lugged um, top lift. Uh, I'm looking at that now and I think I'm you know I'm not sure there's a midsole I think that the outsole goes directly onto the uh, leather welt unless that's actually a leather midsole. Okay I'll, I'll dig into this when I give you the full review. 360 degree stitching so if it's good you welted or, or hand lasted hand welted then it's 360 degrees. The leather looks perfectly fine to me. The stitching also looks pretty good. Where it's machine stitched and clearly machine stitched. Uh, it looks neat, it looks clean. Pull loop, not one of my favorites if you watch my videos, but this is soft enough to be able to not hit, um, catch the cuff of your pants. The uh, hardware looks like brass. I don't think it's the heaviest grade brass, but that's fine. Uh, they use these eyelets, which is common on, on hiking boots. Uh, a fully gusseted tongue, which is sewn right up to there, and it folds in to protect you from water ingress and dirt ingress. Gosh, I do like the leather, it feels soft. Uh, is it lined? 
Yep, it's lined. It's fully lined, even up the shaft. There's a little padded collar, which is, which is very useful when you're um, tracking along rough ground. Uh, you can see the inside of the leather is quite nappy, soft. There is a, is there a removable? Let me see. Oh yes, there is a removable leather sort of comfort insert topped by, I'm not sure if it's topped, I think that's all leather. And inside is a leather, hmm, hello. There are some screws in there, I've never seen that before. Uh, so the screws go in to the uh, heel. Now, I'm, I'm a bit concerned about that because I think as you um, press down, I'm wondering if the screw heads might keep up. No, no. They're screwed in pretty, pretty low. They're actually into a depression in the, in the I think, uh, leather insole. So it's not as bad as it looks. And, you know, the difference between big screw heads and small nails, I think, is that if that was not screwed in low enough, as you depress the leather when you're walking, you might start to feel that under your heel. But it, it, it does feel as if it's been pushed in a lot. Taking a look at the other one. Uh, again, yeah, that looks fine enough, doesn't it? it? It's not the finest stitch density, but you know, I think if, it, if it, this indeed is hand lasted uh, and, and, and hand welted, that's not bad at all. Once again, the stitching uh, is very, very clean. The machine stitching is very, very clean and uh, very even. It's, it's structured in the toe. I'm, I'm guessing that's, uh, I'm guessing that's elastic. I, my understanding is there might be a, a, a leather heel counter, which is good because it, and it forms to your heel. All right, that's really interesting. Um, let's try and put these on and then we'll sum up. Okay, so these took me forever to <laughs> lace up because of the uh, uh, D-rings which flop around quite a bit. Um, I thought I'd use the yellow laces. Oh, it went in quite easily. Now, sizing. Um, although they tell you to size uh, true to size, when you tell them the size, they also double check by asking you to measure your feet, which um, I guess if you think you know your size, you, you're thinking, you know, why, why are you asking me to waste my time? Um, but I, I think it's actually some really good care that they're giving to make sure that uh, you're getting the right size. Um, and as I'm talking, you can see how finicky it is to put these laces through uh, those D-rings. The fit, once you... Um, go in, uh, is pretty good. So I ordered these true to size, uh, which is eight and a half US. They're a little roomy, but I'm wearing very thin socks. I would normally wear thicker socks to go hiking and in these boots. So I, I fully expect that when I put the right socks on, they'll be fine. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, they sort of double check uh, the size with you. And also, I find they have or they had a really good like social media manager called Anyanya. And I think I probably butchered her name. But she's been away for health reasons. Uh, and I found her really helpful. So hopefully somebody else has taken over uh, that sort of job to make sure the customer service is uh, right. So put them on. They're a little roomy with thin socks in uh, true to size. I'll do a, a proper, obviously, size discussion uh, once I've tried them for a little while. Um, they certainly feel comfortable underfoot. They certainly feel uh, roomy enough in the last, particularly around the ball of... Oh, excuse me. This is a mess because I've been filming and I just took the opportunity to uh, do an opening while the camera was set up. Um, yeah, look, um, 
the fit is okay. I, I'm not saying that this is the best fit for my feet, uh, which are not particularly wide, but these give a, a, a certain width, which I think I will need to wear thick socks with, um, which I will anyway if I'm going hiking in these. Uh, being uh, water buffalo, I think they're supposed to be uh, waterproof. Gosh, that's very flexible. That's really nice. Yeah, um, the fit is great. The comfort is pretty good. Uh, I, I don't feel any heel slip, but I think that's because uh, this comes up quite high. And with that hook there, it kind of ties in your instep, uh, which is a great idea. Uh, uh, D-ring, I mean, not hook. There's a D-ring that's sort of out here that pulls everything together. Okay, uh, let's wrap this up, eh? Okay, so, um, <clears throat> sorry about the mess, <laughs> but I was filming a couple of reviews, so I just thought I'd take this chance to do the opening while the box had arrived, uh, just before I started filming. Proper name, uh, Craft and Glory Hike Boots 6-inch in saddle tan. They are Goodyear welted. They sell for 219 US dollars. So that is pretty, pretty darn good, I think. Uh, they also come in a color called Raven Black and in Vintage Brown. They come in a D and a double E width. Uh, full veg tan uh, and it has uh, a padded lining, a, pa a padded collar, beg your pardon. Uh, so, it is good you welted, I'm, I was wrong. Built for the rugged terrain, our hike boot is a beautiful combination of a heritage boot and an adventure boot. Materials, 5 ounce, which is 2 mil thick, waxed buffalo leather upper. Uh, 3 ounce, which is 1.4 millimeters thick, leather lining. Uh, I don't think it's the best leather lining, but it's, it seems robust. Uh, 10 ounce, or 4 millimeter thick, full veg tanned insole. Um, that's the one where I show you where the screws have gone in. 7 ounce or 3 millimeter thick full veg tanned handmade leather welt. So I don't believe there is a midsole. Steel shank for durability and comfort. 100% natural cork footbed and a 100% rubber commando outsole. It does have some dampening latex memory foam uh, plus a genuine leather insole. So. Look, all in all, my first impressions are pretty good. Um, they're lighter than I expected, and I think that's because there's, there's, there's no extra midsole, although all the other uh, ingredients are there, right? You've got a, a, a veg tan leather welt, you've got veg tan leather uh, insole. Um, you know, I, I, it's fairly flexible, again, probably because uh, there's no midsole, which is really quite useful when you're going out hiking, right? The color in saddle tan is also, I think, quite nice. Um, I think black might be a bit too severe. Uh, the distress, I think I've got enough distressed, you know, um, crazy horse type leathers. Uh, I'm a little slightly, slightly put off by the D-rings, but I think that's because I'm just not used to D-rings, uh, even on my Timberland hiking boots. But once they're in, they, they really fit you quite snugly, so I, I quite like them. 219 US dollars. Can't beat that, you know, not for this sort of handcrafted, handmade thing. Um, but anyway, as usual, I'm going to wear them for a while because uh, my, my cataract surgery is finished and I'm, I'm recovering. Uh, and pretty soon I'll be able to do fairly robust things. I'm going to go back out uh, to the hills and do some hiking. And I'll, I'll wear these and then I'll come back and tell you how they've gone. So looking forward to that. Uh, don't forget to click on like and subscribe if you uh, want to follow this channel and see other boot reviews. Otherwise, you take care of uh, yourselves out there, and I'll see you again soon.